If you have hand eczema, there's several things you can do. I think the first thing is remember this is your condition. You know, don't feel embarrassed about it. Don't feel that you know that you have to explain it. But take control. You know, this is something that you have. It shouldn't define you, but at the same time, it's something that you can cope with. So get that feeling of control. See a doctor. You know, go to your GP and ask them what's going on. Many times your GP will have the skills to be able to help you. And because this condition varies in terms of intensity, if they don't, they might refer you on to a dermatologist. But that's a great place to start. What might also really help is keeping a diary. Keep a diary of when the condition is at its worst and when it gets better. Keep a diary of triggers, it may be something you're eating, it may even be your emotional state. That'll often help doctors understand not only your condition, but how it, how it works specifically for you. I think another really important point, and I think perhaps one of the most important, is don't put your life on hold. I see so many people that decide that they'll get the job when their skin gets better, or they'll, you know, they'll ask the girl out when their skin gets better, or they'll even go on holiday when their skin gets better. You know, this is your condition. It should fit into your life, not the other way around. And the more you, you vary your life and you make it wider and you make this a small part of your life, the easier it'll be to, to deal with. I think very importantly, based on the research we've seen, a lot of people reporting shyness and embarrassment. Now we live in a world where the way you look, you know, sadly, you know, punctuates your value or you know how you're accepted. But one of the things that we know that kind of combats this so well are good social skills. If you're able to look at someone in the eye, to smile when they're staring, basically you're saying, I'm okay with this, so you should be okay with this. So be aware of your body language and social skills. Really importantly, don't let it define you. You're so much more. You may have hand eczema, but it's not what you are. It's a part of your life. And the more you keep it in context, the easier it'll be to deal with. And finally, it's really important you get the support you need, both the emotional and the practical support. So try and speak to people who've had the condition. Go on websites like myhandeczema.co.uk. And remember, this is all about eventually allowing you to control your condition rather than the other way around.